ADD thicket, and there's so much to look at. I came to this here host of one of my good Mike Richmond's premier business radio program with her as part of my Kingbiz radio network, which is ESPN Richmond 106.1, daily from 5 to 7 a.m. The Choice 105.3, every day from 2 to 3 p.m., as well as International Business Growth Radio. That is Saturdays, 10 a.m. Eastern. That's where you find us. That's where the game changes come to call. One of my good Mike, my Kingbiz radio, is the premier business radio program in central virginia on the mic with mike on the mic with mike on the mic with mike i'm on the mic with mike he's like a guru no he's a businessman with a great radio show and he supports the non-profits Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to On the Mic with Mike, the premier business radio program. I'm your host, Mike King. I appreciate you being here with me. The views expressed here are mine. I have no connection to support of or any other host information ads on the station. I don't work for the station. My program just airs here on a daily basis. So join me as our cutting edge show. We uplift the community and showcase RVA in a different way. The signs you're listening to are coming to you from ESPN Studio, which is the Global Epicenter Social Enterprise Business. You can follow me on all social platforms, hashtag on the mic with Mike, hashtag Mike King Biz. So uh, we're here today. It is RVA Fashion Week coming up. Uh, one second, folks, on the mic with Mike. We got to do a little bit of housekeeping. We'll be back in just a moment. On the mic with Mike, back better than ever. Sorry about the delay there. That's how <laughs> things work here in live radio. Alrighty, so we got uh, Nikki and Nia from RVA Fashion Week back with us. Welcome to the program, ladies. Thank you. thank you. I got stylish for you guys today. Well, I mean, this is. You're stylish. <laughs> well, yeah. well, well, thank you. Okay. All righty. So really quickly, I know you guys in different capacities. Uh, we're here to talk about Fashion Week. It's a business show. So tell folks who you are and what you do. Hey, my name is Nia Miles, and I'm the front of house hospitality director for RVA Fashion Week. I am Nikki Fivesh, and I work with community partners and sponsorships, and then I help Nia with um. Hospitality, the volunteers, the volunteers yeah. and everything. Yeah. Back so, in the uh, so Nikki, I've seen you around. I thought that that people, I thought that was a, a stage name. Remember, I said that <laughs> oh, to you. That's right. I forgot. I did. <laughs> and you're like, no, that's the real government name. Yeah, that's the real government on the birth certificate name, Nikki Five Ash. For a person in fashion, that's interesting, right? It is interesting. Yeah. All righty. All right. So, Nia, I know just last week I'm perusing through social media and I see <laughs> you smiling with. Ray J in <laughs> NYC. Yes. All right. Yes. Tell people what you do because you are one, you're you're trained in the IT field. Yes. And sometimes that gets lost in the mix. Because we see you all <laughs> dressed up and dialed it's up right. doing the entertainment thing. But you're an IT expert. Yes, yes, I work yes, in IT. Are. Um and uh I do quite a few different things. You do a couple of different things. You host um, some things, yes, you I manage have. talent. Yes, I manage talent, RBA Fashion Week. So I have a number of things going on that I'm, I'm really excited about um, that have blossomed um, over the last couple of years. So um, just really enjoying working with different people in Richmond. Um, and all of that creates, I also do interior design. So um, I didn't know. <laughs> just one more thing. Just one, yeah, more thing. Thing. one more thing. So I have a, a furniture business. I do interior design, um, commercial design now. Love the IT field. Allows me to be creative, build web the web design, um, SharePoint development. So just a, a lot of different things, but met some great people. So it's just all about connecting with different people. All right. So on the mic, Mike, Nikki and Nia here. How did you guys connect with my man, Jimmy Bud? Originally, I I moved away from Richmond for a while and came back and I've done um, a lot of work in, in fashion through the beauty industry. I'm a hairstylist. <laughs> And I've done uh, fashion work all over the world. And when I came back to Richmond, I wanted to get involved locally and uh, reached out. And I met with Ryan uh, Ozia first originally, and then I met the rest of the crew and then history was made. And now they can't get rid of me. I'm How like, long has it been since you've been back in Richmond? Uh, I've been back for four years, I believe it is. So, and this is year, what is it? 12 of fashion week? 14. 14. It has grown so, so much. All right. So you guys are here to give us all the info on this. And also, you guys work with a nonprofit. You guys always have a nonprofit that you support. All right. All right so give all us right. Uh, give us the info on what's happening with fashion. I just want you guys to know that, you know, and I'm, I'm sure you know, but these guys need to know. 
that I'm one of the sponsors for Sneaker Fest. Yes, I mean, do I look like exactly the person who, when somebody thinks of sneakers, do you think of me? What do you have on sneakers? I got on sneakers. I got on sneakers, right. But they're not the sneakers that stop traffic. Okay. Trust me, these are not the ones, you know, people are lined <laughs> up to get, you know, these are just. But do you have some to wear to sneaker fest? I do. Yes. Shout out to free lunch. Mm -hmm. So my guys down there, <laughs> so they got me some some sneakers for uh, the free lunch. They're, that's their brand. Shout out to those guys. Oh, I'll be ready. Okay. Uh, okay. I'll, okay. I'll be okay. ready. Okay. They got a couple of pairs. They got these uh, John Marshalls for the school. They're white and blue. It's kind of like Carolina blue. Mm -hmm. These ones I'm going to rock this time are like green and black patent leather. Uh, okay, okay. You know, when you get to be 62 yeah. and 3 eighths. So you, patent leather is big. Patent leather. Big, I'm going with patent leather. I yeah. love me some patent leather. There we go. All right. Mm -hmm. So tell us about fashion. What we got going okay. on? So one of the reasons I uh, originally kind of fell in love with RBA Fashion Week was because of their dedication to not just giving um, emerging creatives a platform locally, but problem. because also... They're supporting so many nonprofits with every event. So, and that's kind of where my heart is with a lot of things is I would be a full-time philanthropist if God had blessed me with the money to do so. It's so I have coming. become a, I have become a volunteer junkie. So I volunteer for everybody all the time. So fundraising for nonprofits is a big part of my life and my um, making my soul happy is a good way to say it. So we have two nonprofits that we're supporting this year through our different events. Sneaker Fest will be supporting Girls for Change. So that will be Friday and Saturday, the 7th and the 8th. So Girls for Change will be on site. They'll be selling uh, their tennis shoes that are yes. part of a, um, it's for Thomas Jefferson High School's Girls for Action team. So they have special uh, custom tennis shoes that you'll be able to buy on site. They look amazing. Um, they are the so cool. Amazing. You can link to their web page and see the tennis shoes. Actually, uh, if you go to our page, you can see the links to Girls for Change and you can see the tennis shoes that we'll have. And then a proceeds, proceeds from RBA Fashion Week for Sneaker Fest for Friday and Saturday will go directly to Girls for Change. Um, and then on Sunday at our grand finale show, that's are, the big deal. That's, that's the big, big deal. deal. You guys, now, all right, so for people who've never been there, this is a really big deal. We show up at five or six all mm -hmm. dialed up and, you know, trying to be the hippest fashion wear. But you <laughs> guys have been there since, what, seven, eight in the morning. Uh, right. We're starting Getting late in. this year. It's nine. It's nine. It's late. <laughs> <laughs> so we are there early. So I, I have the volunteers already set in place. We have volunteers that sign up for different shifts because that's how long, you know, how many hours are required. Oh, really? Right. And so um, front of house, back of house, so front of house, um, that they are the face of RBA Fashion Week. So they will be hosting, ushering, um, helping uh, assemble chairs, tables, you know, everything um, in the front, you know, that you see. So and for for people lot. who've never been to a fashion show, it's kind of a lot. So I went to I went to the grand finale and I was trying to hide off to the side. <laughs> and Jimmy's calling my phone like, yo, where are you? And then he pulls me up to the front. Now I got to sit like right on the front row. And I'm looking around all these people. I'm like, oh, this is something here. I saw you. Exactly. <laughs> I was like, how did I get to the front? But the thing that I liked that I'd never noticed was everybody sees the models and the design and all that. Mm -hmm. And then at the end, you bring out the people at the back of the house folks, which is something because a lot of times we don't. You don't see them. What's going on backstage, mm -hmm. the makeup, the hair, the, the running around, mm -hmm. everybody. <laughs> it's no. a madhouse back there. Yes, yes, yes. Alrighty, so uh, what can we expect this year that's different than last year? Um, new designers, new looks. Um, the, well, and well, Sunday to finish the nonprofit part. There we go. Sunday, we're supporting American Cancer Society's um, Making shots against Stress, breast cancer. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's a very personal project for me as a cancer, a breast cancer survivor myself. So this is your month. And this is my month. I tried to get them to let me have an entire pink week, and they said that might be a little much. Yeah, a little so much. we're just going to go for a pink day. It's going to be a pink week for me. I'm. I've got You're just letting it go. Yeah, I understand. It's going to be a, a large and in charge. We're also growing because the um, Making Strides uh, Walk is on October 16th, which is a week after our grand finale show. So we're building a fashionista scheme to walk and raise money as part of that as well. So if you want to join the walk team for making strides against breast cancer, come in, 
join the team, walk with us on the next Sunday. So part of our proceeds from the grand finale show, fundraising on site, and from the walk team will go towards research and um, um, services that American Cancer Society offers to women going through breast cancer. Let me ask you this. So now when going through the breast cancer and you see other folks, what are some of the words of wisdom that you could offer to somebody who's kind of like on that starting, on that journey where they had just gotten some news? What do you tell them? Free a lot. Um, trust the people that are in your network that are around you and let people be there for you. Women have a hard time. Women have a habit of being strong and in charge and not letting people do things for them because that's the way we are most of the time. So sometimes it's really hard to just let other people be there for you and support you and, and support just embrace you you. and do that. It was really hard for me. I had a hard time with that. But once I, you know, God will knock you down sometimes so he can bring you back up. But it's, uh, yeah, let the people be there. Find a, a an oncologist that you can have a conversation with and that will be honest with you and that you can be honest with. Um, and I did all my treatment through BCU at Massey Cancer Center, amazing hospital. They took such good care of me. Um, I am very lucky to be alive and kicking and uh, hoping to make the most out of it. When What was the point that you realized, that, not that you had it beat, that there was some daylight at the end of the tunnel? Uh, honestly, this is going to sound really weird, but when I got the phone call from my oncologist that said, uh, the biopsy was positive, I knew right then it was just like, mm. and I will lean heavily into my faith and say it was a God moment. And he said, you're going to be fine. So here you are. All right. Fashion week. Nikki and Nia is here with us. Uh, it is just, so you guys have all kinds of activities coming up yes. at different places yeah. before you. I used to have it like one or two places. Now you guys are just all over the city. Yeah, I think it's important to, you know, you have so many amazing venues in Richmond to like have it different places. So one of the exciting things to look forward to each season is like, where are they having it? So what what is the venue that they're utilizing this time? And what's exciting about this year or this season is um, our artists that we're going to have. And so, you know, I know you'll dive into that a little bit later. Um, but we have a showcase full of artists um, for Sneaker Fest. Uh, we're going to have different DJs. It's going to be an amazing time. So it's going to be very entertaining. Um, we have some models. We're going to do some live painting. Uh, it's just going to be out of this that's, world. That's going to be cool to watch. That's going to be cool. Live be body cool. painting. You guys yeah. got a lot going on here. RVA yes. Fashion Week. Mike is here. Uh, me and Nikki from RVA Fashion Week. Yeah, we got the crew is in the house. You never know what's going to happen. When you come up in here. <laughs> so we're going to talk, after you guys are done, we're going to talk a little bit of political lobbying, yeah. you know, a little bit of a group that, you know, nonprofit work. Yeah, plus we got a podcast star in the house right here. So, you know, we're going to talk a little bit, but right now we're talking fashion week. As I always say, make sure you take a listen to our sponsors and advertisers because the microphone ain't free, plus my grandkids need stuff. <laughs> my name is Isabella, and you're listening to my team, Biz Hubby. That's my skin. My team's a businessman, he's a businessman with his own talk show. I'm Mike with Mike. Hi, business uh, what about. are you guys talking about today? I'm, I'm the one that's talking about Bob. Yay. How shocking. The man with a bow tie. Talk, but he, he, he can be done with I mean, the fashion. More the lobby, he, he's more the lobbying. Yeah, All right. He's so on, the mic, on the mic with Mike. Mike is here. So uh, very quickly, Fashion Week, what are the dates? The 5th through 9th. So October 5th through 9th. So it kicks off Wednesday with the Creative Suite 3. And that's a photography showcase. It's going to be a brunch. And then Thursday, you have a, a Taste of Fabicon. That's going to be at the Lynn. And uh, then, you know, Friday and Saturday, you have Sneaker Fest. Um, so Black Iris, and then Saturday is going to be Tang and Biscuit, and then you have Sunday the finale, which will be at Dominion Energy Center. Is that where it was last year? No, it was Altria. The, okay, last year. That's where it was. All righty, cool. All right, so on the mic, Mike, ladies, we'd like to thank you for coming. Shout out to my man Jimmy Bud. You know that's a Philly thing. We got that. You know, we, <laughs> all right, Eagles, Joe, oh, Jimmy, our Eagles looking kind of good right there, but we ain't saying nothing because it's early. Yeah, and yeah. people from Philly, <laughs> we kind of understand. Yes, we kind of understand the wheels will come off eventually. <laughs> it, it may not be this week. 
Yeah, but yeah, it ain't gonna end up good. All righty. So, one of the Mike, I'd like to thank you, ladies, for coming in. How can people find out information about Fashion Week? Yes, you can go to rvafw.com. If you'd like to participate, uh, we you'll hit the participate link, but go to events and you can see the lineup of events for the entire week. There are tickets available. Tickets so available. Go get the get tickets, you y'all. Yes. So, because I never know where I might see Nikki. Last time I saw you, we were at the, we were judging the uh, the Christmas tree. You guys were all down, oh, yeah. Yeah, down with the Christmas that. tree. Yeah. I did not win. I'm not happy about it. But that. it was a beautiful tree. It was. <laughs> I, think, I ain't saying nothing, but uh, I was one of the judges. I know. Sorry. Uh, I only had one vote. I only yeah. had one vote. You I did can't... it for me, right? Yes, okay. that's right. That's okay. a political that That's a political answer. Yes, I yes. did. Yes, yes, I did. On the mic with Mike, we got to run. Uh, we'll talk to you soon. You can follow me on social platforms, hashtag on the mic with Mike RVA, as well as uh, Mike King Biz. Make sure you check out and support RVA Fashion Week. They're doing some great things. And the nonprofit this year for is for uh, Sneaker Fest is Girls for Change. Yes. yes. Shout out to those guys over there They're doing some Amazing cool things. Amazing stuff. And for Fashion Week is? For the grand finale is uh, American Cancer Society and Making Strides Against Breast Cancer. There you go, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. That's it. We, I rock with the best and the brightest. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you, Mike. That was fun. Amazing. I want to be in a fashion show. Come on. You definitely should be. Right. We have space.